Well, hi. Um, I'm Paul Torville. You may know me from News Undies. I've decided that I'm going to build myself, um, let's just call it a prompting device. Okay? So basically what I've decided to do is use the possibility of a 19-inch LCD monitor in landscape as my display device, which will be shining up into a piece of glass. So uh, a typical 4x3 19-inch monitor is going to be um, 16 inches across by 13 inches high. Uh, so basically what I've decided to do is uh, get a piece of glass that's going to give me a little bit of clearance on either side and up and down, 45 degrees, all this kind of stuff. So basically I ended up getting an 18 inch wide by 20 inch tall piece of glass. And so I'm making an aluminum frame to hold up the piece of glass and to hold it at a 45 degree angle. And let's get started. This is the piece of glass that I originally bought. I ended up going with that piece of half silvered glass because of the double image that showed up in this glass. All right, so I've got a metal cutting blade here and my fancy pants Dewalt saw. And I'm using a half inch by three quarter inch. It's kind of an asymmetrical L uh, going on here. One set is gonna be for the, uh, the top and the bottom and the other side is gonna be for the uh, sides. I've marked these so that they will uh, I can just uh, stack them like this, in theory, and uh, make sure the ends butt properly. I've got my safety glasses on like a good little doobie. And I'm keeping the side that's going to be to the right of the blade. So here we go. <laughs> two side pieces. And again, we're going to keep the part that's to the right of the blade here. So file these edges down a little bit, and I think we're in business. Okay, so this is one of the corner joints, and basically what I've done is I've taken three of those pieces that I cut, and I put them together into the three sides of the frame that's going to hold the piece of glass. And the piece of glass is underneath the frame here, and the edges are wrapped in blue tape. And there's the extra fourth side going to be applied once the glass is in place. So what's going to happen is all along here the short side is going to have little felt pads that the glass is going to sit on and uh, then I'm going to slide the glass into the frame and then I'm going to put the last two corners and the and the last rail up there at the top and the glass will then be enclosed. Yay! Now, as you can see, I've put a bunch of felt dots on, and this is the bottom rail, and you'll see that I've got the felt dots on both the long edge and the short edge, because the load at the bottom of the glass is going to be handled both at the very edge and on the face. Okay, so, uh, basically, the glass is framed, and, uh, there we are. So now the next exciting thing is to build the base that will hold the glass up at an angle. So we're going to use some square section tubing uh, to do that. And uh, that's what's next. So here you can see a double reflection of the monitor in the original piece of glass. The glass frame is being held up with threaded rods so that it's adjustable and the threaded rods just go into the holes on the top side of the square tubing there. And there it is. Mostly done. So here's the thing. There you can see what the 
prompter is showing me as I'm sitting here. And obviously the wood should be black and all this other kind of thing, but that's what, that's what I see. Now, <clears throat> coming around here, of course all this fabric has got to be made to work a little better. It's a, kind of a mess. But <clears throat> basically, if we come over here to this camera, you can see the result right here. teleprompter test. Well, it's not really a teleprompter because teleprompter is a brand name, but uh, anyway, for month, day, year, this is News Undies. All the news that shouldn't be news. I'm Paul Torville with these headlines. It appears that there's a battle to see who will be the voice of conscience of conservatism in America. Conservatives are weighing pudgy, bristle-pated drama queen Glenn Beck against house-sized opioid whore and bile-spewing, spleen-venting hut Rush Limbaugh. I'm going for the low-hanging fruit here. If it's a contest of gravitational influence, I guess Limbaugh wins. So, that's what you see on the actual camera, but if you come around here, again, there's what's on the prompter. And so it's a 15-inch monitor down here, little LCD 15-incher. I think I paid $100 for it a while back, back when LCDs were a lot more expensive. And this is the half-silver glass. Now, <clears throat> the half-silver glass is sitting in a frame, which I made out of aluminum angles. And from here, you can't see the text on the half-silver glass. But if you come around here, by gum, you can. So, that's the prompter. We. And just a little tip, the half-silvered side is on the side with the monitor, not the other side. So uh, there it is, it's uh, mostly done. I have to work out something a little more elegant with the, uh, the combination of the, the, this frame and holding the camera, because the frame down here that holds up the glass and this have to somehow fit together, and then that has to be tied to the camera because it would be nice to be able to, you know, tilt and pan and maybe raise and lower the whole thing as a mass as opposed to um, uh, just being able to do a little bit of movement with the camera uh, behind the prompter. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. And uh, so, woohoo!